okay, so... Yesterday, last night, when I made the video, I was feeling tired, even though it was like... 9.30 or so? And I thought that, you know, hey, maybe I'm just getting back to, you know, normal sleeping habits or something like that. But I've just felt like shit all frickin' day. Don't know why. And since I feel like shit, I'm gonna talk about shit. Um, what I am to relate today. First off, speaking of shit, the off chance that you're watching this and you're not someone I know and possibly not someone who is, you know, of age or whatnot, this is shit. Smoking is bad. And I do it. Woohoo. But shit. Um, I, I kind of find it strange to think that this might be something that people don't commonly know about, but um, I realized after I was, as I was thinking about it really, that um, the things that I might see frequently online may not be the things that other people see frequently online. So what I might think is common knowledge may not be common knowledge, so I thought I'd just tell you this shitty fact, and that uh, sometimes when people might have um, various disorders that might cause them to need to go on antibiotics or things of that nature, or they may have some other sort of uh, disease, disorder, syndrome, uh, that may uh, destroy their gut biome. Uh, that would, of course, be the, you know, bacteria and stuff that live in your gut and make it so that you can eat things and stuff more easily. Um, but yeah, sometimes with like antibiotics and stuff like that, the uh, uh, the balance kind of gets out of whack, and it's mainly been treated so far for uh, Clostridium difficile or C difficile. That may not be how it's pronounced, um, because difficile. I, I'm pronouncing it like that because that's essentially the French pronunciation of difficile, which is essentially hard, difficult, difficile. You know, that's how it goes. And, yeah, so I'm assuming that's what it is, because, you know, with the whole Latinized <laughs> uh, nomenclature of, you know, biology and shit, I'm assuming, you know, French is a romance language based off Latin, so that's probably pretty close to how it is. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so when, you know, the antibiotics and stuff, whatever, might screw up your tum-tum, um, you might need something called a fecal transplant, which is a fairly new thing, where they transplant feces from one person to another. Uh, the first time that I read about it, it was actual, like, transplantation of, you know, stool. Uh, but this could be misremembering, because, you know, your memory does not work like you think it does. Um, but as it is now, it tends to be more sanitary than you might imagine it to be. One of the things, the, way, the ways that, the, uh, that they do it is uh, with, they freeze dry it, and they have it as capsules, so you're kind of like swallowing someone else's shit. Um, but it's been effective so far as people with the uh, uh, Clostridium difficile, you know, overabundance or whatnot. Uh, it's also been shown to uh, be possibly beneficial with IBS, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. My goodness, I can't talk. Also, uh, Parkinson's, it's apparently been somehow for that. I, if, I, I don't entirely know why it is that it works for some neurological disorders like Parkinson's, but apparently it does. Um, so there it is. I feel like shit, so there's my shitty fact. Fecal transplants. It's a lot of fun.